today we're going to do a classic corn pudding. A corn pudding is a, it's a tradition that's been handed down from Native Americans. And in my family, it's been the Cherokees, uh, because I'm part Cherokee. And this is a delicious dish for any time to serve with roasted meats, and it's, it's all vegetable. Um, first, we're going to chop some coriander. And I start with the stems, because that's where all the flavor is. So that goes into your bowl, your mixing bowl here. And the other key ingredient is garlic. Love garlic. And when the Native Americans used to do this corn pudding, what they did was pound the corn and, um, and mix it into a batter because corn has milk and sugar in it naturally. And uh, they pounded it into a batter and they put it in stews. So they just float this pudding thing into um, venison stews and uh, etc. I love putting in lots of garlic into this. And what the, uh, the native folk did was do natural um, wild onions. And uh, they had a lot more flavor, um, actually, than garlic, actually. And it was a little bit peppery, and, uh, and so that's what they used. But I like to use lots of garlic in this. And I'm just um, smashing the garlic, peeling it, and um, we're going to just rough chop. I like to go through this uh, when I'm eating it and get a nice big chunk of garlic because it just adds to the bit of surprise in the dish. Um, so, let's see. We've got about five cloves of garlic. And uh, we pop that in, into the bowl. And, uh, and, it, and it really calls for <clears throat> a good uh, medium-sized onion. And uh, that's about enough onion there. So again, this is really kind of rough chopped because what you do want to find is like bits and pieces of, of onion in there. Um, and that's uh, about a good uh, medium-sized onion. Uh, the next thing to do with this recipe is make a custard. And uh, I've got some eggs broken here. And what you want to do is put at least six to six to eight large eggs. And these are a little bit small, so add a couple more. And the reason we're doing this is to just make a custard. whip your eggs and pour in a good uh, pint and a half of milk. Just leave a little bit there. And um, we want to put a stick and a half of butter in a pan and let that melt very nicely. Um, and when that's, while that's melting, what we can do is just get started on assembly. So we've got <clears throat> the onion, garlic, coriander in a bowl. You've got three tens of, eight ounce tens of cream corn. And you can just buy regular cream corn at the supermarket. 
and we want to put that in. Put that into your mixture. And I just want to give that a little bit of a mix so that all of the garlic and coriander and onion is kind of mixed in. egg milk mixture and give that a good mix to make sure everything's well incorporated and then you want to add seasoned breadcrumbs and uh, Probably want to add about two cups of them. A um, little bit at a time, just to make sure that they become well incorporated and you don't have any obvious lumps. Because uh, that's not going to be good when you bite down into it. You get a lump of breadcrumbs and it's not well incorporated into the dish. So uh, make sure that you're mixing well. And it's about two cups of breadcrumbs. And this is also a good time to put in your, your melted butter. So just let this go until it's a little brown. And that's going to add to a nuttiness to the flavor of this. And you just Make sure this is all well mixed. So this is something that vegetarians can enjoy. And the next thing is to just put it in a pan. Okay. And into a nice pan and okay um, and, and you're just you you get a, a thick consistency but it's loose um, and that's what you want to look for and you don't want to put too much breadcrumb in you just want to put those two cups of breadcrumb because that's enough okay now in the oven for a good hour plus, depending on your oven, uh, 375, and uh, and then you want to test it uh, about 45 minutes or so. The sides should be well um, solid, <clears throat> and then it just creeps into the middle, and and then you've got uh, something that's absolutely delicious. Here we are with our finished corn pudding. And this is, that's the consistency that you want. Look at that. Look at that. That is a vegetarian's dream. 